G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. So me, Aya and Laiathano decided we were going to head out to the beach and enjoy the afternoon at the beach. We were joined by Aya's brother Gwyn, his girlfriend Alyssa and our nephew Cairo. And we just hang out to the beach having a great time. I flew the drone for a bit set up a few time lapses and yeah my plan was not only to go to the beach and enjoy myself but it was to have a night dive I'd been sent this awesome dive torch from XStar and they wanted me to do a bit of a review on it so I figured that going out for my first night dive would be the ideal opportunity to test it out So once the sun got low in the sky, I got my kayak on the beach, got it down to the water, got it set up and jumped on and we headed out there. first spot and uh, the sun's looking pretty beautiful in the background just sunk below the hill I'm gonna have a real quick snoop around here see if I can't bang over a fish for a bit of a kai and uh, then we'll move them to somewhere maybe a little bit calmer there's a bit of swell hitting the rock here and uh, see if we can't find some crayfish under torchlight so let's do it I just got off the kayak and right under me was a nice school of kuhuru. So yeah, quickly quickly finished loading the gun and then dived down amongst them. And I was kind of hoping there might be a kingi around. So I line one up and shoot it just to see if there's any kingies in the area they'll often come in for a look. But unfortunately my shot was just too good. I hit this fish in the spine so it had no fight. So it didn't send out those uh, wounded fish signals that I was kind of hoping it would send out. I moved out to where the waves were breaking on the rocks. I figured that if there was going to be a snapper parked up anywhere, it would be there. And I approached this ledge here, look over it and don't see any snapper but when I look off to my left I notice there's a couple of kawai cruising by so when one comes in range I reach out and plug it I let this fish struggle around a bit, sort of take my time pulling it in, in the hope that it might attract a kingfish. And I untangle everything, reload my spear, reload the gun with it still on the spear, just in case a kingfish comes in, but nothing comes in, so end up taking it back to the kayak. It 
it's starting to get pretty dark in the water now, so I decide I'm going to grab this torch and give it a bit of a go. And I should say, I've tried this torch out on land, and this thing is incredibly bright. We used it for a little bit of hunting, we shot a few possums with it, and uh, yeah, it kicks the ass of most uh, m much larger hunting lights. So yeah, got it, flicked it on, and that school of Kuhuru was still just under the kayak. So I decided I'd dive down on them and see how they behaved with the light shining on them. <laughs> and yeah, it was kind of quite funny. They were quite terrified of it. So I was kind of almost chasing them around with the light here. It was uh, quite amusing. So I had a bit more of a look around there, but when it started to get really dark, I decided I'd move to a spot where it was a little bit calmer. There was sort of a little bit of swell washing there, and there was a spot just a little bit further up the coast that was considerably calmer, and I just decided I'd feel a little bit more comfortable there. All right, spot number two. Let's go look for some craze. In the torchlight. <laughs> so this was my first dive in the second spot and this is not a spot I've ever actually dived before. I've often looked at it and thought it looked like it'd probably be good crayfish ground, but I've never really dived it before. So this is all a little bit new to me and maybe not the wisest decision, but like I just said, it was the calmest place just because we had a little bit of swell running on the coast. So I'm diving around here looking around and the first thing I notice is there's a few little fish around but they're just super super calm just sitting there when the torch is shining on them not like that school of kuhuru that were darting everywhere and I think maybe it's because they've had a little bit more time to settle down and they've all sort of gone to sleep. After diving for a little while, I find this little crayfish here under a rock. It's a pack horse crayfish, and I can tell just by looking at it, it's not going to be of legal size, so I just move on, keep looking. There's plenty of rocks and actually really good looking ground here for crayfish. So the next crayfish I found was a slipper lobster or Spanish lobster and they're a pretty cool thing, a bit different. But uh, this one was pretty small as well and although there's no size limit I believe it was just probably just a bit too small to take so decided to use my discretion and leave it to grow a little bit bigger. Lobster. Don't see one of them for a while. 
I see a snapper just chilling out on the bottom and I've heard stories about snapper being super easy to approach in the dark but I didn't know how true it would be. But yeah, this just proves it. I was able to swim down, swim right up to the snapper. And I actually reached out and tried to grab its tail and that made it take off. But uh, until that point it had just been so chill. But yeah, it just sort of cruises off after that. Back on the surface, I'm surrounded by these krill. And it's quite a, quite a spectacular sight at night quite beautiful really they are kind of transparent in the day so you don't really see them that much you, you see them but they they're not like this you know like all lit up in gold and everything it was really quite pretty I find another small pack horse crayfish and once again just just a bit too small could just tell by looking at it and then come up and find this beautiful eagle ray just cruising past someone had obviously caught it on a line before and cut off its tail i really wish people wouldn't do that i've been diving for a couple of hours at this point and hadn't seen any red crayfish at all so, found a snapper just asleep under a rock here. So went back to the kayak, grabbed the gun, decided if I wasn't going to be able to take a crayfish, I'd at least shoot a snapper to take home to eat. And, yeah, came down to look for the snapper again, and I must have disturbed it the first time when I saw it, because it wasn't there. It had obviously moved off. That wasn't really a big problem because a short while later I came over this ledge here and found another snapper just parked up asleep so lined it up and got a shot into it and it's a perfect shot hits its brain it sort of has a bit of a spasm and pretty much dies on the spot So yeah, head down, grab the spear, and take my prize back to the surface. That's not a bad snapper. Maybe a little bit unsporting to shoot it, but it's food, and I'm hungry. <laughs> nice. And yeah, it's about now that I realise that snapper is actually pretty considerable size. Certainly a lot larger than I'd first thought. And I'm heading back to the kayak with it when I see a crayfish just cruising out in the open. It's another pack horse. So it scoots under a rock when I dive down to have a look at it. And I have a quick look and I realise this one's too small as well. So. Don't bother having a go at it, just decide that I'm headed back to the kayak and I'm done. on the kayak um, what a cool mission that was <laughs> didn't find any crayfish or not any red crayfish I could take a couple of pack horse that one Spanish lobster or slipper lobster but uh, yeah 
seen a few snappers sleeping, decided I'd go and get the gun and then I found that one, that nice big one that I've just shot and uh, yeah, probably normally, oh no, my torch has gone flat. <laughs> oh, okay, my torch just went flat so uh, yeah, I've been using it for probably a good couple of hours now so I'm not overly surprised. And uh, yeah, I think I'd better get back to the beach before it goes completely flat. <laughs> well, all right, it's the next day. I made it back to the beach and uh, we got packed up, got out of here, but uh, I've got the catch here. We've got the Kahawai and Kuheru. I think I'm just gonna use the Kuheru for bait. It's pretty small. Um, I kind of shot it last night thinking I might burly it up, but I never did. Uh, the Kahawai, we're going to take the fillets off this and we're probably going to have this as sashimi. And uh, we've also got the big snapper and um, it's actually quite a bit bigger than what I thought it was when I shot it. Um, and I thought maybe I'd just give it a quick weigh, see what it weighs. It's right on 9 kilos, so um, that's a 20 pounder. So yeah, it's a 20 pounder, first one I've taken in quite a while. Uh, certainly uh, didn't realize it was that big when I shot it, but uh, bloody nice fish. I wouldn't normally take a fish this big, but uh, I was hungry and I hadn't got anything else and we needed food for the week. So this is food for the week. It's not gonna be wasted. We're gonna fill it up. We're going to take the head and the wings. They'll, get, they'll end up getting smoked up. We'll have raw fish, we'll have cooked fillets. Um, yeah, it's uh, gonna be put to good use and there's gonna be plenty of people that get some of this, so uh, yeah. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, super impressed with this torch. Uh, very, very rugged construction, feels heavy in your hand. Really nice bit of kit. I will leave a link in the description for where you can go and buy this. Um, I'm very impressed with it. I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to a diving kit and I want to do a few more night dives because that was a lot of fun. So yeah, I'll close it off there. I'll say thanks for watching. See you in that next video. Cheers.